What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick Corona and today we're going to be talking about the three blade propeller for the Mavic 2. This will fit on the Pro and the Zoom version. I've been very excited to test this out. They make a lot of claims. Uh, the manufacturer claims that you'll gain up to 40% flight time, which is huge. They say that your aircraft will be more nimble and also quieter. Um, those are some pretty big claims for just changing out the props, but I'm excited to, you know, take a swing at it and see what happens. Uh, just to kind of put into perspective my experience with the Mavic 2 so far, uh, if you have one, you know that the app stores all your flights. If you don't, well, now you know. Um, but I've flown for about, well, not about, I've flown for 30 hours and 44 minutes, a distance of one and a half million feet over 137 flights so i've been flying it quite a bit um, enough that when i go through all my flights i know how long the battery lasts and what's an improvement if it can fly for more than about 27 minutes that's a huge improvement so i know right off the bat what to expect now when it comes to these propellers there's a few things that I immediately noticed right away that are significantly different than the stock DJI blades. First and foremost, these ones are carbon fiber, so they're way more stiff. There's much less flexibility in them, which I'm really interested to see what that does because I can see these blades flex a lot during flight. And here, let me just take one off for comparison here. These props are so easy to get on and off. You just press down and twist to the left. They also have a cool configuration on the bottom that makes it so you can't put it in the wrong spot. It won't, it won't lock in. Um, but as you can see here, I mean, I can just easily flex these blades a lot. They're definitely made to flex. These blades do flex, but they are very stiff. When I compare the blades, if I just take one blade and kind of compare the pitch of it, they look almost identical. The shape is identical. The size is identical. So it's like you're literally just gaining one more blade. And I think that it is definitely maybe a tiny bit heavier, but we're talking grams. Nothing, nothing major. And I've seen people mount GoPros on this. So... I don't think you're gonna notice any difference with that small weight change. But um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna go test this. I'm not gonna go super far away because I'm in downtown Atlanta pretty much. I'm in a uncontrolled class G airspace, so it's okay to fly here. I just don't know how much I trust these yet, so I'm gonna keep it close just in case something catastrophic happens. I can uh, get my drone back. So yeah, before we fly, we just got to get these blades changed out. They lock in nicely, just like the stock ones. Um, the other major things that I noticed is these ones don't fold up as small. So I'll have to make sure it still fits in my bag. I don't think it'll be a problem. The other thing that I noticed is the DJI propellers use what looks like strictly just a rivet, whereas these ones look like a rivet on the bottom, but on the top side, it's clearly, you know, a super small Allen wrench. So I just hope that a blade doesn't fall off or something can't get loose. That's my only concern. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. They had good reviews. So we're just gonna twist and pull all these stock propellers off and I'll definitely keep them in my bag. Always carry spare blades because I've cracked many blades, even without crashing. And you would think that all these sensors help, but you'll still crash sometimes. And let me tell you, diagonally and downwards, ooh, it's a death trap. These things really sense like up, down, left and right so if you're kind of like coming down and doing a cool shot look out for trees snap that in and just to show you guys like if i tried to put this one here 
See, I can go down, but I can't twist to lock it in. It just kind of rejects it. Be careful where you order them from. Um, I kind of thought I was buying full sets and it was really pairs of two. So I got enough blades to fly it, but I got less than I wanted. Cause like I said, I recommend always having spares. I would buy two sets of these right off the bat. Cause you're going to be really bummed out if you buy one set and then crack one blade and have to take them all off. Wow. So <clears throat> I'm just taking note right now. This blade is so stiff. Like it's like this one's tighter than the other ones. They bolted it in harder. I don't think that the gravity of that would fling this one straight. I'm gonna manually put it straight and I hope that doesn't affect the balance of the blade. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. That's super stiff. Maybe I need to work it a little bit. Oh yeah, that's helping it out. I could barely move it at first. It's still pretty tight, but that's way better. Cool, well there you have it. There's what it looks like with all the blades on it. Let's open this one up too. Pretty cool. It really changes the look of it a lot, huh? Let's see what they look like folded up. See, they don't go as far, but let's see what happens when we close the body. So they take up more space, but like I figured, they still pretty much just fan across the middle and take up the width of the drone. Well, let's see if it still fits in the uh, fly more bag, because that's really all that matters, right? I don't want to risk it. All right. I still am always trying to decide what the best way is to put this in. We'll go this way for the sake of the video. Oh wow. Definitely more of a challenge to not snag your blades um, since you now have more of them. Ooh. Well, they're all in. Definitely tighter. I feel like I feel like the blades are fanned out and just completely not a lot of space. Oh, they have a little wiggle room. I'm just concerned that it breaks in the bag, but I think I think it might be okay. So it's in there. So let's see how how does she pull out? Ooh, you really got to be careful. What am I hearing? Oh, we're good. Oh, it's actually not bad. It's actually kind of nice because it, it holds the blades forward. It actually kind of makes them stay up like this. And where the two get caught is when you're pulling it up and one gets snagged and just goes completely sideways. I don't know. It could still happen, but... It does fit in the bag, and I will be testing it out. Um, you can kind of see here how it folded in the bag. Look, this one blade went over. Kind of has that much space. Well now I'm just kind of curious as to if, if it can open the blades. Let's just try it. I've never even tried to run this without my phone, but we're going to try it right now. 
All right, so I don't even have the sticks on. I'm just gonna start the blades and then nothing because we're in the house and I don't want to chop my face off. I should be ready in case this thing vibrates like crazy. I'm gonna hold it. Seems like the better, better thing to do here. All right. Whoa. So that one's vibrating a lot. Like it looks like it is about to, oh. It just gave it a little jolt and I think it's good. I will say that back one looked a little wobbly to me. I don't know, is that the stiff one? Let's see. Yup. Yup, I'm gonna put a different one on right there. This can totally happen when ordering things at a discount from China. So um, that's the kind of risk you take when you're using parts that aren't DJI. This one feels more normal. All right, let's give that a try. I'm gonna squint my eyes, so if a blade comes off, it won't go in my pupil as much. Oh, that, that looks way better. Still vibrating a little bit more. I just feel like there's some kind of vibration and I want to compare it to the stock blades and see, is it my DJI that just, does it vibrate a little bit, you know? It's got a lot of flights in it. Or is it the blades? Cause they're, uh, you know, they're a lot bigger. I mean, I guess they're not bigger. They're made out of something else. They could be more difficult to balance. I don't know. They're heavier. So I'm interested to see how it flies. Um, they feel very different just in the hand. To me, the factory blades feel a lot smoother. I feel like these might have caused a little bit of vibration at you know an idle speed in my hand i feel like once you gave it power that kind of went away but i'm interested to see because i mean if it adds any vibration or at all it'll probably ruin the shots you take maybe that has to do with why these blades are so flexible and well balanced that probably reduces turbulence so maybe i will get a longer flight with these maybe they do have more thrust I hope that everything else works as good though. So um, that kind of makes me a little bit more skeptical, but let's, you know, let's put it through the test and see what it can do.
<clears throat> they feel good. They sound different. I don't know if I'd say they're quieter. It is bright out here. Always wear sunglasses. The drone makes a much different sound. It's a lot more high pitched. I don't know if I'd say it's quieter as much as it's different. It sounds loud, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Camera footage looks pretty good. Looks pretty stable. Um, we'll just let it fly for a while and see how long it flies for. That's going to be the major difference. It flies about the same. It's hard to tell if it's quieter or not. I'd say just holding still, it sounds quieter. When it's buzzing around, it's a little bit more choppy um, with this, probably because it's not flexing at all. But yeah, we'll see how long it stays up for. So this has happened to me once before in hot weather and it's pretty hot out today. I still have a lot of battery, but as you can see, everything is freezing up. I can't really zoom in or out, and then it kind of comes up, and then it's laggy. When I go forward, look how laggy that is. Like, I could never fly. If this happened when this was like miles away from me, I would 100% be relying on the home feature. But I can see it right there, and it's controlling totally normally, even though it's moving really crazy on the screen. I would be completely screwed if I couldn't see it right now. So I don't know if that's an error with DJI. I don't know if that's an error when it gets really hot, but either way, that is deadly. So be careful. When I stopped recording, it made it <clears throat> go back to normal. So if you run into that and you're recording, stop. If it happens when you're not recording, it's really tough and it's happened to me once before, so. Maybe twice. So we just got back in from flying this with the three prop blades and I just don't know. I just don't know. I feel like they vibrate a lot. You couldn't see it in the camera, but I touched the drone and it felt like a lot of vibration so I went back to the regular stock blades and I noticed they still make a little vibration, but I feel like not as much as these. I do feel like these were quieter though, so I'm just going to have to play with them more, but I'll say when you get a drone that's this expensive, it's just uncomfortable. This blade, These blades made me uncomfortable. I was more comfortable with the DJI ones. Um, let's see how much longer my flight was. I hit it in my pocket. I'm gonna screen record this for you guys. Um, I don't, I don't really, I can't really say that this is better because uh, right here I started with a fresh battery, so it starts at 98% as you can see in the upper right hand corner there, and I flew it all the way down to 12% at 17 minutes. I, I mean that's. This is like three or four minutes less than what I'm used to getting. So it's definitely not 40% more. It's not a crazy windy day today or anything. Um, I don't know. I'm overall under impressed with them. I expected a lot more, but I'm going to have to keep testing it. I guess I'll keep them as spares. I'm definitely going to keep using these though. I just, I trust these a lot more. If I was flying somewhere like over water, 
I'm gonna use these because I don't know about this, but uh, let me know what you think. Um, either way, we got DJI insurance on our team. So let me know what you think. Uh, everyone fly safe and goodbye. Goodbye and good day to you. <laughs>